Hello, we have a uh, Empire Resurrection Autococker unboxing. They'll, uh, there will be multiple videos about this gun. There's going to be shooting videos, uh, there's going to be gameplay videos, there's going to be a comparison to the Empire Sniper, which this is loosely based off, and there's also going to be, I think I said comparison, and also review. I have used this gun already, so I can make a review by it by standards of not just going off what they say, but how I felt about it. Um, and let's start the unboxing. So, so you have nice layered foam. Uh, you have a DVD manual, uh, tool keys, pretty nice set. They're all marked. They're not ball ends, but here, let me. So as you can see, they are marked for what numbers they are. Then we have the autococker itself. Loosely based off the uh, Empire Sniper. Very similar design. Just take this over here. Nice uh, foam cutout. Very, as you can see, it, it fits like a glove. So you know this was actually designed for the autococker, not leftover parts from the Empire Sniper as many parts on this gun are or people speculate they are unlike the sniper it comes with a six piece barrel kit instead of a four piece barrel kit so you get a parts kit very small just like the sniper uh... the barrel system is exactly the same as the empire sniper as well you have the six nine let me zoom in for this You have 695, 690, 680, 685, 675. Uh, many people have had the complaint that the 690 and 695 are practically useless, and also the 675 sometimes can be too small. Now, my complaint with this is that the 680, 685, and 675 is exactly what I got with the Empire Sniper, and the 695 and the 690 are too big for me and the 675 is actually perfect because uh, one of these uh, one of my local fields uh, Pep's paintball their paint is very small so I do have to use 675 sometimes especially in the winter now 695 and 690 are basically useless for me right now since I will probably never use that barrel bore especially with paint getting smaller now people in say Asia slash Russia South America their paint is a lot bigger than ours and that's a known fact and so since Empire designed this to be more of a world friendly instead of uh, just forcing them to use the 685 as their biggest back so let me actually put this right here uh, this allowed for more countries to be able to use this barrel system anyways uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. 685, 680, 675 is, it works for me. If, if I would have had a say in this, I would have eliminated, say, the 695 and made a 689. Or maybe had a 679, 682, 685, 689, and then 690 for, uh, the world countries. Uh, anyways. So let me put this all back, and that is the unboxing of this. Uh, my thoughts, it's a nice gun. Uh, I'll cover most of my opinions later. Oh, let me actually zoom out. Didn't realize this was still zoomed in. Uh, yeah, my thoughts, it's a nice gun. Uh, most of what they say is pretty, pretty accurate. The trigger system is way better than any autocockers that were back in the day. It is pretty hard to short stroke. I think uh, from a whole day's play, and that is speedball, which is at times was like 8 versus 8, sometimes it was 5 versus 5. Uh, so lots of pain was slung in anyways. Uh, I, I have short stroked it maybe once or twice, but it wasn't like a traditional short stroke. It's just that the I didn't release the trigger so much and I press it again so yeah uh, it's a nice gun more thoughts is gonna be 
in the review. Thanks. So let me put this right here. And one gripe that I will say uh, that I have with this gun is it's by no means it's a cheap gun. It's $550 retail and the box should be better because honestly I'm not taking this box to the field. It's just it's going to get torn up. So I'll have to find some other way to carry it. And I just carry it in my clips bag on the side pockets. So Empire, I would have liked how they have the Vanquish. That is a nice, you know, thing for gun. But this is just too bulky. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, more videos on this resurrection to come.